Hey, all you awesome people. It is now next time. Uh, we are in episode three of Revenge of the Bird King, this game we decided to play. Uh, Microwave gave us the shield generator, which generates shields. To be honest with you, I didn't use it when I played through this game the first time, so we're not going to buy it, I don't think. We are going to buy some more of these guns, get a Freedom Eagle uh, to our name, and yeah. We now have all that stuff. This episode, we're going to be doing some uh, collecting of treasures just to upgrade our character, because last time we got our butt cooked a little bit. Uh, to start off with that, back into this level. And if you remember, we uh, we saw a little thing at the end of this level, um, the temple of this level, before the boss fight. Uh, a bunch of blue blocks in the last episode. If you don't remember, we'll see it soon, but that's where we're going. You can just dash past that guy. Oh yeah, and look, photos of Dwayne are, are all over uh, in this big mansion. Maybe it belonged to him, or maybe someone who who valued him. Maybe this was my dad's, and he was good friends with Dwayne, possibly. I don't know who's to say. The uh, My dad doesn't seem like a dude to have too, too many friends uh, as of this game, so... You know, you never know. You never know. Alright, passing this section. This guy kind of sucks. So we'll get a, a gun real quick, if we can. Okay, this this is a we're in a predicament. Oh, all right. We uh, last time we got fish guts. Uh, we fished them up from our secret fishing spot, and that makes it so that we don't get knocked back when we are hit. So very useful, very good item. All right, so let's set up this uh, gun and we can use it. This is what we got from Buffalo and. They kind of throw out like that, like in an arc. So we gotta kind of place these right so that we can get through it. This guy's really annoying. Take that, man. <laughs> I hate those guys. All right, spamming works. And hey, there's a treasure here. Bam. <clears throat> we got that. This was actually the last treasure I got in the game uh, in my first playthrough. Cool stuff. All right. Um, yeah, there's a there's a grave here. I don't know whose grave it is. Perhaps Dwayne, if this is Dwayne with a bandana. Uh, then this would be his mansion. But hey, enough speculation. Since there's no items down there, we can continue on. Um, this cave right here, I really wish these guys would stop. <laughs> it's pretty annoying, this map. Uh, this cave leads actually up to there, where the second Buffalo headquarters is. As you can probably see. We can check what's in this cave really quick. We are not ready for that. <laughs> Alright. Let's check what's in here. I think this is uh, something doable. A lot of these caves uh, have special treasures that we, we, we really need. Oh yeah, this is what the flag does. It plants two of those at a time. Isn't that cool? Um, yeah, these caves... All these caves have treasure... The real treasures that pop up on here are only in a few caves. And then in any caves that don't have um, those special treasures are diamonds. And diamonds give you a considerable amount of money. Now we have uh, 6,500 gold, which is nice. Let's light up these guys. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, clearing these caves out and getting uh, those diamonds is a quick way to get some money. Alright, and then the city has um, a special item, and then this cave is endgame. Uh, it kind of checks for you to have all the items that you need to, to face the final boss, so we won't go in there yet. And then this is a big uh, big connected cave system over that way. So let's go, uh, let's, let's go for the city. Let's do this one. I don't think this is a boss fight. I think this is more just a... A temple to clear for a piece of treasure. Oh yeah, big uh, big moves we got going there. Also good uh, good level music. I like it. These guys are stuck. I will use that to my advantage. Okay, those guys only take three hits now because we have we're we're at level six. All right, that's it's pretty good for how far along we are. And then we got a 1.75 times damage boost. And then this thing adds a point of armor, so a, a gray heart up there. 
Uh oh. <laughs> All right. I've used many respawn eagles accidentally before, but we'll try not to do that because they cost a lot of money to us. Okay, and I'm very thankful we don't have the knockback anymore. That's very helpful. All right. Uh, this level, yeah, we got these falling rock things, which are cool, I guess. Uh huh. Up we go. Oh, and these things. Little switches for, for gates. Yep. Alright, take that guy out. Don't get knocked back by that because we're too good. And we're going. I think there's a hard section down here and then we're good. Also that that spinning move through the screen transition. It's a good touch. <laughs> there's like funny stuff like that that I think wasn't intentional in the programming of the game. Uh, but it's quirky, and it's, uh, doesn't, doesn't, you know, take away from all, all that much, you know? So I like it. It's good. Alright, I think this is it. <clears throat> this room up here. Phew. Dangerous. Oh yeah, take that out. I was like, I can't, I can't make that. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's going on, uh, longer than I thought it would. I'm getting messed up. I am now dead. I think we're gonna use the respawn eagle. Um, isn't the best place to do it. But I don't want to do that all over again. Also, what the heck, man? This is a really aggravating setup. <laughs> this section right here. Okay, no, don't fall on the spike. Oh, that hurt my insides. I really got scared that it would do that. Hey oh that looks like a a horse head mixed with a gun. Let's get that. Haha. -ha. Now that that is completed, we have the horse head and body. We need one more piece. And wouldn't you know it, I know where that is. Hit me train! We are beating the train level. This was the very hard uh, first time play uh, level for Max and I. We did not have a great time beating it. Also, this is where we first saw those, like, kamikaze spear guys that you can't kill with just bullets, by the way. Doesn't let you. Because they got armor on, silly. But yeah. We are better at this game now. We got that platforming pro move, uh, you know, skill set under our belt. We got it. Alright, and the music's pretty good on this one, I'd say. These guys. <laughs> Big water bottle dudes. I know a trick. Throw a turret inside them, and they die. <laughs> but but usually it takes like 20 shots from your gun, and uh, one of those pieces of water will come out every time. Like that. Woo! So yeah, just throw a turret down inside them, and you're golden. Alright, we got it. Please don't. Alright. We can not go up here. We gotta go over there. And we got the wheels. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> Just like that, huh? You wouldn't believe that it took like Max and I like 35 minutes of trial and error to get through that. But you and I, we just did it. So guess what? That means that we got all three parts of the horse. It is assembled. Now we can go through here. Uh, up in this corner of the map is a special area for a very special weapon. Let me know what you guys think of this game, by the way. Uh, just interject that here a little bit. Because I think it's pretty cool. It's a, it's definitely a cool mix uh, of game styles. Also, this level is just completely different gameplay-wise, and I, I'm not complaining. It's a fun level. So yeah, I can just boost with horse. It moves to the right on its own, and I shoot monkeys on on their own on their own horses. Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, th th this level's got a lot of different, you know. Uh, inspirations it feels like you know roots that it that it has set in like other popular games like first thing I thought of was well obviously duck game if you know what that is it's like a multiplayer game I think from 2015 uh, and it's got a lot of the same like in terms of graphics and also the dashing mechanics kind of feel like duck game too um, <clears throat> and then besides that shovel I get those vibes a lot from 
the uh, Dungeoning, and then Hollow Knight from a lot of the move sets and stuff. That's just my uh, my taking of it. But here we got Crockett Dial, I think. I forgot that this was a boss fight, but we're doing it. What business do you have in these ruins? What do you seek? You want to know? You'll have to catch up. And uh, now we're in a boss fight. Pretty easy boss fight, I think. Uh, I just got to shoot him up. <clears throat> Sorry, my... Uh, I, I've, I've done too many episodes today. I've done uh, these first three episodes in one sitting, as well as some Animal Crossing today, so... Uh, I don't know. I was in a recording mood. But there we go. And some more anime flavor text. Gunworld is a land of legends. It is not a land of is, here or now. It is a land of was. Save my voice and let you guys read this <laughs> so that I can continue the episode. Okay, um, so now that that's done, after getting Crockett Dial, which apparently the horse was required, I forgot that that led us to that boss fight, because look, Blow Dryer, this is a double jump gun. Um, this is a very important uh, gun, probably the second most used uh, to the Leaf Spreader gun. So yeah, we now have that. We completed a an impromptu boss fight, which is good. Wait a minute. I think we've beaten five bosses. <laughs> five bosses of the game. All right, then we need to jump into doing the rest of the treasures, I think. Um, also, there's a very important other item uh, in the middle of this, I think. I think that's where we get it. But we'll get to that. Let's go through this first and foremost checks for one of these. There we go. Just take him out because he's annoying. Yeah. And take him out with a weapon not of choice probably. Okay, let's get off that. Yep. And then open that up. Yay! Got treasure. Sweet, sweet treasure. What are we at now? We're at 11,000 gold. Alright. Remember how I said we were going to be very meticulous about where we go. Yeah, I forgot to do that. But it's fine. Alright, so we got a Temple of Dwayne right here. And, yeah, there's not really much to this level. It's kind of it. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> this level's cool. Uh, gives us another important item, as a lot of other items are. There's a whole, like, section over this way, if I can get that. But it kind of just leads up and around, and don't really get anything out of that, so we'll skip it for now. Maybe come back to it. Never, probably. That's okay. Need a gun. Haha. -ha. All right. And now that we have double jump capabilities, I'm sure we'll be able to reach other areas uh, that we wouldn't be able to reach otherwise. Pretty cool stuff. We'll get to see how that's used. And I'm again thankful in those sections that we have the knockback resistance. Um, that that thing over there is very important. That little uh, podium. We'll see what that's about next time, probably. Woo! But yeah, we can access that just yet. These guys stink. These guys still kind of knock you back, even with the resistance, which I'm about in the programming and such. All right, and here we go. Got the item. And what is it? I can't see yet, because it doesn't let me open my inventory on the map. It's denim. Now we deal more damage. And I think it doesn't reflect in our damage bonus down there, but it exists. So if we have this... Hey, come down here, buddy. Bam! Oh. Two shot? Two shot. Bam. Got him in two shots. Also the monkey, which took like six shots in the, in the first episode. Alright. Yep, got that. And now this, uh, I forget what exactly is at the, the center of this this grove that we're kind of clearing. Uh, this is our preliminary uh, section, by the way, till we get to the temple. Now we're on the inside. And let's see, let's see what this city area is. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is, this is an area that we needed... Uh, these four, the guns, 
Also, let's get, a, let's get an eagle, because we can afford that. But yeah, we got these ghost guys on this one. And I'm not really going to worry about them, because we're going to need to use this gun anyway. So let's just do that. And yeah, with this gun, um, kind of to give you guys some background, I need to hit B to jump regularly, but then I need to press Y to use it to jump. So that can be kind of difficult to use. Also, that should have shot. <laughs> that should have shot me upward. There we go. Alright. Ah. Good stuff. Um, whoa! I do like this temple, but... Uh, I'm now remembering. This is, uh, this is the longest level in the game. <laughs> and if you've ever seen through Hollow Knight, this is kind of equal to Path of Pain. Um, and if that doesn't ring any bells for you, it's, uh, it kind of just, you know what it is by its name, I guess. <laughs> so, this'll be fun. Hopefully we can one-shot it, though, because we're good at games. And I'm on a pacifist run, so sorry, guy, I can't kill you. I tell jokes, alright. Okay, let's see if we can get one of these up here. And yeah, just some hot platforming on this level. And I figured out how to do that um, dash run and then like double jump move. You have to dash run off the ledge and then you're in spin mode until you switch directions. And then you can jump. So that was a little more difficult than it may have looked. <laughs> Took me a good uh, att few attempts on, on this level to, to get the hang of that. Alright, we're ascending. And I think that was the item over there. Got through this pretty quick. Okay, we have two hearts, so we gotta be kind of careful. Let's get a gun out. Um, this would be good, I guess. Oh! Okay, don't attack them! We're at one heart. We got our Freedom Eagle, or Respawn Eagle, or whatever. Let's use that. God! Okay, I attacked both of them. We're going. Oh, and that was not the end of the level. That was like halfway. Okay, we're in trouble, guys. We are in trouble. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Stop it! You double jump again. Things are falling apart at the scene. Yeah, this was... We're not really there yet. <laughs> we're like halfway there. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make this. need another one. Here we go. Okay, those, those sentries, bad, bad news. Don't mess with them. And this is an expensive level, by the way. Just like how many of those 200 cost guns I have to use. Whoa. Alright. Jump around. Jump around. Don't fall down. I fall down. Okay, we're getting hit up here. Let's go back down. Oh yeah, we got a gun here. Nice! Retrieve that. Mm hmm Kind of hard this section if you're not using any other guns. Kind of gave me some Super Meat Boy vibes the first time I played through this. Just the intense, really hard platforming. Oh, we got one heart, by the way. Let's be careful about that. Let's get another one of these guns at the ready. All right, and this is the big climb. <laughs> Crazy level, right? Like, this is extremely long. Just like something else. All right. All right, and then it should do one more swiggity swag up to the top, and I think we're good. And even though those words didn't intrinsically make sense, with context clues, you would guess I meant just a curve. Okay, this is one of the uh, final try. One of those, and a sentry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got it. Wait a minute. Oh. That was just a treasure. Are you kidding? Yeah, that just gave us another point of armor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so Path of Pain was, was ridiculous. That's what I'm naming that. Um, we could probably enter this, this room. This might be a longer episode, by the way. Um, hope that's alright. Oh, yeah, it's this place. Um, I'm not yet. <laughs> that place is bad news. 
But hey, um, I think that'll be good for another episode. Uh, episode three, guys. I was I was losing track in my brain of what episode we're on. But yeah, episode three. We're making our way through this game. Next episode, if we get our stuff together, might be the final episode. Maybe not. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any other weird games you want me to play, just let me know. And I will see you in the next episode.